Shalom, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us the truth of the Spirit. And Shalom to the mighty Akam and Akwath out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from this final captivity. And today's topic is going to be entitled um, Esau. Esau is a hypocrite, okay? So now, basically, firstly, um, I wasn't really going to do this video, not video, this lesson, because it, it really is simplistic. Like, I just, it, it was primarily about this, okay? This is a, a game, The Last of Us, um... Basically, at the end of the game, it's just about uh, quote unquote moral, dis moral decisions or whatever. Save one life, sacrifice one life to save many, or sacrifice many lives just to save one life. Okay, like that's basically what they were. That's basically what not the creators were doing, but the people the that played the game were trying to make it out to be when that wasn't the case. Now. What does this have to do with hip hypocrisy? Okay, so the thing that makes this hip hypocritical is because a l a lot of Edomites will say, "Oh, you obviously would want to save the 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 lives of the many outweigh outweigh the lives of the few." That's what Esau wants to say. Okay, so basically Esau is saying sacrifice that one life this one little girl this life sacrifice this one little girl's life in order to save everyone okay that's basically what they're saying now the hypocrisy in that is that Esau is not like that when it comes to real life or anything that has to do with him with um him needing to sacrifice himself like if he was in that situation he i bet all the money in the world he would not none of them none not even just he but all of most of them will not sacrifice themselves for the world all right and you can really you can get to you can come to that conclusion just based off the fact that um when i was growing up you know, hearing or slakia, yeah, watching these like Disney movies or whatever, and all these movies about you know coming of age and all this crap. Like a lot of it was like, oh, I want to live my own life. I want to live. I want to make my own decisions. Blah blah blah. Oh, I'm tired of living through your like. I'm tired of you living vicariously through me. Whatever, mom or or dad or whatever. Like that's that's that type of mindset that uh. Esau has and Esau even says so many times kids are supposed to disobey or rebel against their parents that's the mindset of Esau Edom all right so already you know when they when they are trying when they're being put in a position where they have to do something they are going to take they're going to choose not the thing that's the greater good but the thing that is the most convenient to them individual as an individual all right now the thing in this getting into this it's not uh the reason why it's not a um moral quandary i don't know what the proper term is but the reason why it's not a moral de decision of should we save the lives of many or eight to se and sacrifice as one girl or save this girl to and sacrifice the lives of the many. The reason why it's not that's not the case is because the um, their method of going about making a because it, it's a basically is a zombie game. Okay, so a bunch of people turn into zombies and they want to and the girl little girl is um, immune or seemingly immune to the zombi zombification, okay? So, because of that, they uh, 
want to kill her and take the what's it called the antibodies or whatever that that's that she has in her in, in her immunity and use it and they want to use that to make a vaccine now the reason why this isn't going to work is because number 1 she wasn't she isn't the only one or she wasn't the only one she wasn't the first one to have been shown to have an immunity to the virus this the um I don't even know what it's called T virus I think that's Resident Evil but the this game's virus for the zombies whatever it's not it, it, it she she wasn't the only one okay now they basically you can you can I guess you can um see this is a thing you can watch the thing read the recordings or whatever basically um they had already tried it before and it didn't work they were unable to make a vaccine so they were going to kill her and then ultimately not be able to make a vaccine now in addition to that um where, where i believe uh oh yeah slakia um i was actually watching some other videos as i was looking for this video and other people were saying that it is impossible for anyone to find to for modern technology in 2021 to have a vaccine to fungi which which this zombie virus is it's a fungi virus so because there's no modern technology to prevent fungi viruses uh they they would have been just killing her for no reason at all basically so and in addition to that they were saying that the best thing that they could have done was to keep her alive and then just have her breed or have kids and then their her kids will have that natural immunity and that would event and eventually lead to um repopulating the earth with normal people immune to the virus as time goes on but um yeah with that you know there a lot of people even today with how uh, with how many people they that um have made videos or have talked about us and proven that it is not a moral a moral debate um they still they're still um gung ho on saying that she needs to die in order to make the thing they she they need to sacrifice her that's basically what they were saying all right so um basically with that you know that's the whole hypocrisy because they're so ready to sacrifice someone else when they're ready for someone else to be sacrificed but they would never sacrifice themselves in order to better humanity okay and in addition to that um another thing to add is uh no i'm not gonna get into that yet let me bring it out first oh no i got it okay so another thing another aspect okay i mean or another um video here the Biden family. Why weren't President Biden and all members of the Biden family masked at all times on federal lands last night? Actually, you know what? I don't think I can show this video. So, Slakia about that. I'm going to move on to the next one. Um, over here. Um, Louisiana police officer charged after allegedly tasing suspect who spewed racial slurs at him while refusing to comply with orders okay so obviously this jake police officer got charged for tasing someone who was disrespecting him by calling him racial slurs and in addition to that the suspect was not following the police officer's orders now obviously if that um suspect was a jake they would have been shot, and this wouldn't wouldn't have been 
this one this wouldn't have even been an article. Okay, like this would have said, okay, well, um, Blackie was freaking acting belligerent and not following orders or whatever. So they killed, so they killed another one. Like that. That's basically it. But now this is the hypo- hypocrisy. Okay, this is the hypocrisy because it's a Jake that's being disrespected and has to deal with this guy who's not following orders, who's probably an Edomite. Okay. Now they're charging him for tasing him. He didn't shoot him. He didn't kill him. He didn't do any of that. But he is getting charged. Okay. And then the nerve, the nerve. Okay. This is what they said. The Monroe Police Chief. This is from Black Media Daily. Um, dot com. Um, Monroe Police Chief Victor Zordon. Okay. He said over here. Uh, he said in the statement that he acknowledged the difficulties of the job and every time they put on the uniform and are forced to react in tense evolving circumstances he expects nothing less than the highest level of professionalism and integrity from our officers in the performance of of their duties I will continue to hold officers accountable to these standards and take action where necessary to ensure that those standards are met he added now how is this how does he have the audacity to say something like this when so many jakes have been have had it worse they didn't get t- they've gotten tased they gotten beat down so i saw a video where someone drop kicked jake for literally no reason he jake was already cuffed and this dude just yelled something out i forgot what he yelled out and then just drop kicked him okay others they freaking um cuffed him detained them and then started beating him while he was on the ground okay like we've, we've seen you we've seen a bunch of these different videos okay but now when it's a uh, israelite cop freaking Tasing, just tasing, not abusing his power, but tasing, trying to get the guy under control. And after having that guy disrespect him, okay, because Jake gets shot for less from these cops. And they, they, oh, they claim they, we're going to review the tape and then we'll put them on um, temporary leave with pay, okay? But he, this, this Jake's getting charged because he, Tase someone he didn't kill anyone, okay? That's hypocrisy, all right. We're, um, um, in Proverbs chapter twenty nine, verse two, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice; but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Okay, the people mourn because they don't want the wicked in rule, and that's one of the things that um, Esau would never accept. Okay, if the the fact that the wicked the wicked the wicked right now the wicked are in rule and the wicked is Esau Edom. Okay, Esau Edom would never relinquish his role being on the top of or just being the um the global power right now. He would never relinquish his power in order to have. To put the Israelites in charge of right, the righteous. To put the righteous in authority. All right, so that's 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 why the Most High has to send Yahushai to come and take, like um, take the rulership away from him. All right, because he because we know, because he knows Yahushai Yahweh knows Esau would never relinquish it willingly. Okay, because he's only worried about himself. Okay. That's why his him and his people are enjoying themselves now. Okay? And then um, Proverbs chapter 11 verse 9. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Okay? The the hypocrite want, said, do as I say, not as I do. Okay? He doesn't want people, he, he wants people to fall in line. And do all these safety precautions. But he doesn't want to go through the hassle of doing it himself. Okay? And 
when, you know, the whole safety. And then you have the whole, you know, um, protocols and all this crap about, okay, so uh, um, if someone is giving you problems, you know, this is how you're supposed to handle it, it okay, be per- be very professional, but no, when, 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 um, they, tr- when, slack here, no, but no, uh, if it's an Edomite cop, they can do whatever they want, as we've seen, and they get away with it time and time and time again, all right, I'm pre- you can find a million different stories about the hypocrisy and unfairness of all the stuff that Esau Edom does and all the cops get away with, okay? But, you know, um, the whole, oh, if it's happening to us white people, oh, stop the presses. You gotta go freaking handle that. Handle those niggers. All right? Um... Job chapter 20 verse 5 that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment okay the the tr- the victory the fanfare of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment meaning that all basically is me basically saying that this is all temporary okay Esau is only going to enjoy himself for so long until Yahushai comes Yahweh is sent to take over. All right. It's, it's it's only a matter a matter of time. Um, Job chapter 20, 27, verse eight. For what is the hope of the hypocrite, though he hath gain, when Yahweh taketh away his soul? Okay. So, what what's the if even though the wicked has all that he has right now. You know all the money, all the wealth, all the fame, all that stuff. How, what is how is that going to help you when the Most High Yahweh comes and takes away your soul, comes and deliver, delivers righteous judgment upon you for your wicked, for your wickedness? All right, it, it it's going to mean nothing. All right, and that's basically you know all I want to go into. It just uh. It's number the first aspect in Slakia. The first aspect is how Esau Eden does not want to sacrifice himself. Okay, like if uh, if he if if you told him uh, Esau Edom or all the Edomites need to stop being in power or drop relinquish their power in Babylon. Okay, in and. and Give the is the Slakia. Give the Israelites a power and authority, okay, so that the people would can, can rejoice. All the people in the world will be, the world will be fixed, okay. He he's not going to, he's he wouldn't do it because he only cares about himself, okay. But when the wicked beareth rule, the pe- people mourn. People all around the world are mourning, okay. They you got these people talking about oh these third world countries are in such horrible state. Well, I mean, why do you think that is? Okay? You can actually go in and actually research and actually learn why are they in such horrible positions. Okay? And then, you, you they they want to talk about, oh, uh, we want to help people, but they're not really, they don't really care to help people. Because they can't even help the people that are in their own country. Okay? People... Outside the country or inside the country, all right. It, people suffering everywhere, and then you know you got Esau who has an abundance of food, who's filled right now. Not even doesn't care to help anyone out, even though he is able to. Okay, Luke six. Uh, Luke chapter 6 verse 24 But woe unto you that are rich For ye have received your consolation Woe unto you that are full For ye shall hunger Woe unto you that laugh now For ye shall mourn and weep Okay 
rich, who are want you to stock here. Want you that are rich for you, should, for you have you received your consolation, meaning that yeah, you're you're rich and enjoying yourself now. This is your consolation. Like this is consoling you, meaning that you you get to enjoy yourself now, but later, like you you have expended your whole your um chance of joy. All right. Verse 25, Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and reap. Mourn. Woe unto you that are full, meaning that you have food now, but you went again down the line when all hell breaks loose, you're going to be hungry. Okay? When you're laughing now, you're going to, you're again, like I said, you're expending your happiness, your happiness voucher, or your time to be happy right now okay but you're not gonna be able to it, it's either uh suffer now temporarily or suffer now temporarily and be happy uh with through everlasting in everlasting life or enjoy yourself temporarily and suffer an everlasting damnation okay which it's not really Everlasting da damnation. It's um, for Esau, Edom. It's um. Let me get that actually. Obadiah. Obadiah chapter um. Obadiah chapter one. Oh, the book of Obadiah, Slakia, verse eighteen. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for a stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not, not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Most High has spoken it. Okay, meaning, so, eventually, Esau, Edom, all the Edomites, all of the Edomites are going to be, you know, wiped away from the face of the earth, basically. Alright, so, it's not an eternal damnation. You know, that's not how the Most High deal with it. Like, also for um, Esau, Slaki, not Esau, Jacob, Jacob as well. There, um, it's a temporary. Um, the two thirds that are going to be killed, it's temporary. They're going to be brought back in the kingdom. All right. So, um, uh, verse twenty six in Luke, Luke chapter six, verse twenty six. Woe unto you, when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Meaning that, actually, basically, this is like your, the false prophets that the people are speaking well of, they're speaking well of the, those hypocrites as well. Okay, because they're speaking smooth things. They're saying, like, oh, uh, like Will Smith saying, oh, like, this is how you succeed in life. You know, you can't be doing X, Y, and Z. But that's a temporary su success. It's not a success with the Most High. All right. But with, but anyway, with that, I want to give. I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught, this, taught me this truth through the Spirit. And with that, I want to say Shalom.